toxic. It's called an aldehyde. I don't know if you ever heard about this chemical, but this is what they use to embalm people, to preserve them. The other one is another chemical that I'm not going to give you the long name on. All you need to realize is that it's the toxin that occurs after you drink alcohol the day after when you have the hangover. But don't worry, it gets worse. If you take a look at junk food, right? What is it composed of? Sugar, starch, and seed oils, right? But when you combine the starch with the seed oil under heat, you create a compounded toxic soup that is deadly on your tissues. Very few people just consume starch by itself. They have it in different forms, like chips, right? Potato chips, which is mostly seed oil and refined industrial starch. And if you go in the snack aisle in the grocery store, you'll see all sorts of versions of these chips or crunchy things with basically seed oil and more starch. I mean, chips have like 65% starch, 30% oil. Then we get crackers. Here's uh, the Cheez-Its, right? 70% starch, 25% seed oils. Then we have cereal, 80% starch. Sometimes they put seed oils, but mostly they add sugar to that but there's usually always some seed oil involved. What have we got in bread? 75% starch, maybe some sugar, but definitely seed oils, 15%. Pasta has starch. We have 15% seed oils. French fries, 80% starch, 15% seed oils. So what's really bizarre to me is that so many of us have been focused on sugar for so many years, but the starch is actually consumed in way higher quantities and actually it's more deadly. Now remember, I'm not just picking on starches, 